Welcome back. This is M Dog, and we are here at Mosquito Lake, and um, this is a really nice little spot here that uh, I saw someone talking about over on the VK website, and so I thought I would come try it, and it, it is in fact it's been very fun. I would say it's not. Um, you know, sometimes you get little spots at Mosquito or Winding or maybe even Old Berg where you can almost fill your net in an hour. And that has not been the case here. Um, and we are primarily targeting rough. And you can see we've caught quite a few. We did have one trophy here. Uh, I think you definitely have the potential of catching more trophies than that. I mean, I've probably just had a little bit of bad luck, I think. What is this? I think uh, some folks have been catching multiple trophies per hour. That's my first common carp. So that kind of gives a different uh, a different flavor for the spot. But we're using 22 hooks. I've got 6.2 liters, uh, which I guess helped in that instance. Um, 5.4 on this one. Now the middle rod, I'll go ahead and tell you, I do have some ground bait on. And, and you don't need ground bait for this spot. I just have so much old ground bait and PVA and stuff that I, I try to use stuff just to, you know, just to try to get rid of some of it. But, and you never know when it might help a little bit. That's, that's a ground bait that I've used before just to kind of generically target, uh, you know, fish at, at uh, Mosquito or other places where, you know, just like, fish that might like just worms and that kind of stuff see it's got a lot of worm red worm we are using red worm as bait this middle line does have a size 20 hook on it but i'd say mostly the 22s have been doing really good and um yeah just doing a lot of digging and catching a lot of rough so uh one thing that's nice about this if you're a lower level player especially um, you could do this with worms instead of red worms and still have really good success. In fact, some of the largest trophy um, uh, rough at Mosquito are caught on worms, uh, but they do probably come out a little more consistently on red worms. Um, but this is a great spot to hit cafe orders. Uh, you may occasionally get crucian carp stuff going too but mostly what you're going to see is you know is hit the rough orders uh i also think it could be worth and i haven't tried this but during the parts of the day where where the rough don't come out at all and there are you know a good bit good bit of the middle of the day hours you just stop catching rough right um it might be worth throw in something else in, even just bread or, or egg dough or something and kind of embracing the roach or uh, crucian gibbles a little more. Because we are seeing a few bream uh, every once in a while, a crucian or a gibble, certainly some sleepers because we're using the red worms. Um, we've had a couple marker eyed, which has been interesting, a couple of tench, and so the, everything is kind of biting here. I guess we haven't had any roach up to this point, uh, but I bet if we switch baits, we might occasionally see even roach, roach here as well. It feels like everything's kind of firing on all signatures in this spot, but, hmm, did I say signatures? It's not what I meant to say. Um... But rough is kind of the target fish right now with these with the approach we're using. Um, so you've got cafe orders. The other thing that I'm thinking about doing is look at how many bait fish we've got caught in a pretty short amount of time. And so I know that with rough, you can maybe go to like Cory and catch some of those fish on rough. I've done that in the past. But I'm also wondering, there's been some pretty good spots at Tuba lately uh, for lots of different fish. So I'm kind of wondering if it might be worth tr testing out rough at one of those spots to see if any of those fish would go for rough. So I don't know. Um, so 
So, anyway. The other nice thing is we're so close to the uh, free food. Once every 24 hours, we can just go, that's a nice one. I, it's it's fun, you know, you get used to catching a bunch of rough and then you see one that's, you know, 100 grams or, or greater and you can tell like, oh, this is a much bigger rough. And then every once in a while, if a trophy comes in, they look really big coming in. So it's just kind of fun. Um, I've always enjoyed catching both rough and sleepers. I guess white bream is another thing we haven't seen any here. Um, just thinking about other fish that are at mosquito. There's so many more species here now than there used to be. Yeah, we don't we don't want the little micro bream. And that is where I wonder if the 22 is better than the 20. I haven't kept good track of it but um the smaller the hook the more likely you know the more likely we'll see the rough instead of catching like some of the bycatch like the eyed and the bream and stuff and such but yeah especially during the day if you're able to catch a few more crucian gibbles i mean you could just hit so many cafe orders as they sort of cycle through here at Mosquito. That could be a really good way to make some early silver for lower level players. That is some bizarre rod tip action. There's a white bream just in the nick of time. Now white bream has got to be a little bigger than that, right? No, smaller. 50 to 100. Okay. And that was 182. Yeah, way too big. I don't think that fish is really on yet. It's just a nibble. So I don't know. I don't know if I'll try to... Let's see. Do we have a bunch of bait fish right now? Probably have some we just need to throw out. And um, maybe we will go try something weird with all these rough. Just depends on what will take them uh, at tuba. It's not, I don't think it's the ideal fish to use there, but we might catch some asp or I think of pike. I think of pike going for rough and then maybe like burbot or catfish even maybe. But I'm not sure. So many, so many rough, and we are up to 75 fish, but we've been here for a little while now. Again, there's just parts that I think if during the day when the rough are not active, if you did put on bread or something that will target other species a little bit, I think you probably could fill up your net relatively quickly because during the evening and morning, it has been a really good bite rate. I know I'm coming up pretty soon, coming up on that 24 hours when we can eat again.
and I wonder if we've been here long enough that we're just starting to fish the spot out a little bit. <clears throat> See if we can get one or two more fish and then we'll wrap it up. But I do really like this spot and I like the I like when spots like this pop up for newer players. This is just a good way to get a good start. A little unfortunate right now we don't have a second rough order. Uh, but some of these orders, you know, won't be too much longer before we start to see some other ones rotate in. And if we did embrace the Crucian Gibble or Roach a little bit, then... Um, you know, that would be some more orders potentially as well. It's interesting we haven't seen perch. I wonder if we were using regular worm instead of red worm, if more perch would come in or if the perch just aren't active at all at this spot. So I don't think it's unheard of for perch to go in on red worm, but I think it's more common with the um, with regular worm. Again, bigger hook, so we're Ooh, caught a roach. So now, I mean, the longer we sit here, the more we are embracing every species on the lake. Because uh, it's also the hook size. You know, 22 hook might be a little small. Decreasing your chances of getting some of those slightly bigger fish, at least. I don't know if I've said this, but we are at, I think it's a six meter clip is what I've been using. Yeah, six meter clips what we've been using. Always like an excuse to get our picker rods out though. Oh, I bet we're doing loop on the second and third one and inline on the first. Nope, we have all three on all three on loop at the moment. I think I switched that last time we used the pickers at Volkov. We had been using inline on the first one and then loop on the second two. This would be a spot though where you could just do basic bottom, uh, especially if you're not using ground bait. you have standard feeders so like starter feeders you're gonna have to really stay on top of it because sometimes these really small rough won't even show up as enough to pull your your uh, the rod tip down so um, even with these really light seven gram quiver tips that still happened uh, a little bit to me Yeah, it has slowed down. I think it's just the amount of time we've been fishing here at this point. Oh, there we go. Got our got our free food in. I'll wait for one more fish. Try to.
yeah, other things I would try, I might put one at eight meter clip just to do a little bit of variety there. And then, like I said, different baits during the day if you want to maximize the amount of fish you're catching. Hundred and forty three silver is not bad though, even if you're not gonna turn the rough into uh, bait and just sell them. It's pretty good pretty good silver for mosquito. And we have potential for a good bit more than that with cafe orders while you're sitting here. micro rough stuck but when we pick up a rod we can get unstuck let's hope this fish gets on so we can get unstuck oh two bites good we'll wrap it up after we get these two fish if if they do turn into bites oh there we go we came unstuck the old-fashioned way It's a little bream, isn't it? So this next one will be the 80th fish. I did put regular worm on this far left one just for a minute to see if it would uh, get us a get us a rough as well. It should. On most of my leveling videos, I end up going for rough orders pretty early on with worms. Once you can get a little bit smaller hooks. And if you, as you've seen here, at least the last couple minutes, the slowest bite rate seems to actually be, that's the largest bream we've had, by the way, and that was on worm. The slowest bite rate, at least here recently, as things have started to slow down a little bit, has been on the middle rod, which is the one with ground bait, but it's also the one that has a slightly larger hook, which is probably what is impacting that the most. 
And I guess I have, I've caught a few more fish than what I'm showing because we did that one cafe order with the rough. And then I've also been turning a few like 500 gram bream into fish pieces. So we did have a few more fish maybe than what it looks like, but somewhere around 80, 85, something like that. Mm. With the cafe order, I guess it'd be 90, huh? And we've done a lot of good digging. Gotten some baits. Very small rough, I'm assuming. Six, nope, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-six bait fish. It's not bad. There's another nice one. All right. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. Let me know if you come catch some trophy rough. They're definitely here for the taking. And this er these early morning times, obviously they start coming in really, really fast. Um, but yeah, anyway, so this is 5293 right here at Mosquito C3. And we're at a six meter clip. All right, tight lines, everybody.